In this video, I'll show you how you can enable guidelines and align an image or object dead center using Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo. For this demonstration, I'll be using Designer version 2, but the process is exactly the same if you're using Photo. Also, if you're using an older version of the program, the process should be also very similar. So let's open up Designer. So once the program loads, you want to click on the file option in the top left hand corner and then choose new. You can then choose the size of your workspace. So I'm going to choose this option, which is the full HD, which is um, 1920 times 1080. So this is my workspace. So if you want to add a vertical and horizontal line so you can align any object at center, it's very simple. All you have to do is click on the view option, then choose guides from the list. And then this little box should appear. So I'm going to just remove that to one side. So to add a vertical and horizontal line or just one or the other, all you have to do is focus on these options here. And if you click on this little plus icon, you can now see that a line has been put across my workspace. And if I click this one, you can now see a vertical line has been added as well. There are also some other options such as columns. So you can add columns as well. So you can now see there are red lines, two red lines going vertically and horizontally. You can change the style as well. So if you select filled, you can see that the background changes a slight color to a gray color and the guides are a white color and so on. We can also add margins, which is around the outside of the workspace. You can now see a blue line and so on. So let's just get rid of these as we don't need that. So I can now close that. So I now got my vertical and horizontal lines. So you can now align any single object or even an object in a picture using this method. So this import a picture. So I'm going to choose this one. So this particular picture is much bigger than my workspace. So I can now resize it without losing too much image quality and so on. So let's paste that. So I'm going to just use the navigation option on the right hand side and I'm going to use this little slider to make the image smaller so I can now drag the image outline. So I'm just going to roughly make it slightly bigger than my workspace, about that kind of size. And now I'm going to zoom back in. So you can see the woman in this image is slightly to the right rather than dead center. So let's try and get her face dead center. So we can also use the snapping tool up here. So if it's on, obviously things will snap into place. You can see like these lines keep on appearing. So if you want more control, turn the snapping tool off. So you can now see I can align her face dead center. Obviously you will lose some of the image. You can now see the outline of the image, which I will lose using this option, depending on the size of your workspace. And of course you can also, you know, drag the image eight, but you will lose some quality by dragging the image eight if it is obviously smaller than your workspace. So let's just kind of get her face roughly in the middle. I think that looks pretty good. Again, you can keep on making it slightly smaller and readjusting so you get more of the image. So I'm just going to stop there for now. So that looks pretty good. So the next step is to make the entire image the same size as my workspace. So this is simple. Just right click on the image on your touchpad or your mouse and select the rasterize and trim option. And now you can see the entire image is the same size as my workspace. So the next step is to export the image, click file, choose export, choose what you want, either JPEG, PNG, and so on. You can choose the quality as well. Then click export, give it a name if you want to. Save. So that's now being exported. So let's take a look at the image. So this is the original, and this is the one I just cropped. 
So as you, can, as you can see, the original obviously has more of the background in place, but this new one I've just done, you can now see that the face of this particular woman is dead center and so on. So that's how you can enable these guidelines and align an object or a picture dead center. Thanks for watching.